All right, I guess this will be a redo of the first time out uh, driving a boat. So it's held the Spartan because it does not shelf right. And I looked at Pro Boat's uh, lineup for around the same price what the Spartan was, and I ended out with the Sonic Wake. We have here a Pro Boat Sonic Wake from Horizon Hobby. This boat is a 36 inch brushless V hole that also shelf right. Really had eyes on a Sonic Wake. I don't know why I really went with the previous gen Spartan when it just came out with a brand new Spartan that does self right. But this brand new Sonic Wake V2, it actually came out a couple years ago but this is brand new to me actually has a lot more features than the brand new Traxxas Spartan we have a dual water pickup line also have adjustable trim tabs right over there both on each side and just a lot more features on the inside I also appreciate the electronics a lot more another thing that I like is that these little canopy knobs you don't need like a screw driver to get it out you can just use your hands and it tightens really really nicely inside this boat we have a water-cooled brushless ESC up to 6s and a 6s 1900 kv brushless motor that is also cooled with water that is pretty cool the only thing i did change is the steering servo out it came with an analog steering servo but i guess that's a good trade-off with all the other uh features that you get on this boat um so i actually have a power hobby 400 mg in there it's a great 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 affordable servo that's really good as well now one thing that is really cool about this sonic wake is that the battery compartment is smack in the middle with really really big adjustable uh battery straps now the first thing i thought is there's no way that it can fit we can fit a massive 10,000 milliamp innovation rc edition 6s lipo in this guy right here perfectly weighted to be right smack in the center of everything and i'm super happy i'm actually able to run one battery total instead of two at the same time and worrying about two now this here is a 4s 10,000 milliamp this is 6s and if you guys want to get your hands on any of these batteries i'll have a link right up there to get yourself some and we will be doing more 360 video footage today with my insta 360 one x2 360 camera now that's what this mount right here is really for it just mounts right up there just like that we are also going to be testing the bone stock speed of this boat with the gps uh we're going to be running it on the single 4s at first then we're going to be running it on the whopping 6s see how well it does see if it really does over 50 miles an hour out of the box so we're going to see how well that does now if you guys haven't done so make sure you follow innovation rc on instagram we'll have more pictures videos and other cool things on there so make sure you check that out make sure you also subscribe and hit that like button because we're about to hop into this right about now All right, here we go. You gotta watch out for that prop and the sticks and leaves. <coughs> here we go. <coughs> And here we come back in. Oh, that is just awesome. I, I can't get over that. So I'm also not trying to get on it that hard when I'm over here because you really got to watch out for the rudder in the back. 33 miles an hour. It's actually pretty good. Only on 4S, that's great. Look at that, 10,000 milliamp of pure goodness. 10,000 milliamp Innovation RC 6S is in there perfectly snug. I'm so happy how nice and sturdy it is just right there. And we have our GPS that's not gonna go anywhere unlike the previous video, <laughs> we lost the GPS. Uh, but yeah, it's going absolutely nowhere right now. So we're all zeroed out on peak speed. 
see how it does. Don't let off quick. That's how I feel about it. not me. I think that was something definitely. Um, Hang on, I'm just going to do another circle, then I'm going to bring it back in. All right, so let's see what, uh, let's see, let's see. My fingers are crossed here. 44 miles an hour. That's pretty darn quick on the water, guys. Now, no, it's not 50, but what I will say is that the connectors are getting pretty warm. Not these, not the eight millimeter bullet, not the IC5 adapter, but these. Now, it could be the gauge wire and it could even be the, uh, the connectors or the bullet connectors used here. Um, everything is dry, so it's nothing electrically um, wrong what's going on. But I think the boat is drawing so many amps, the ESC can't hold up. So that's why when it was out there and it just stopped when I was on power, that already told me, oh, hey, ESC is like too many amps, let me cut you off. So really, 44 miles an hour, that was with the cutoff. And I wasn't even in it when it cut off. So I'm going to honestly tell you, this battery... The voltage drop was probably null as well when it was at that point. Motor's not even that hot, so wires are hotter than the motor actually, which is a good thing. ESC, if I could stick my finger, yeah, ESC is the same exact temperature as the motor. Wires are actually hotter than all the electronics, so to conclude that, this is building up resistance and it's actually causing the ESC to trigger low voltage detection even though the battery's voltage is not dropping. It's really choking on amperage, that's what's happening, and it's throwing a random code. Now, I guarantee you, if we only change the ESC with the stock motor and the same battery will do over 50 miles an hour and obviously these conditions aren't the most optimal and in which it does say that in the instructions so i completely understand but i will say 45 miles an hour with the cutoff this this boat can easily do over 50 miles an hour i definitely can conclude that if there was no cutoff and once again guys if you want to get yourselves some of these beautiful in actually any of these beautiful Innovation RC Edition 10,000 milliamps 6S's, whether if you want the brick or if you want the 4S 10,000 milliamp 100C battery from CNHL, I will have a link right up there if you want to get your hands on some of these beautiful bricks right here. And especially for these boats, you really, really, really need a good battery. You can't be running like 12 gauge, uh, 14 gauge wire. You need like big old hardy at least 10 eight gauge at the minimum. Make sure you get some of these batteries right here and they will do you right. All right, well, that'll conclude everything today. Everything was a solid success minus the ESC cutting out, but we will solve that next video that we are out with the Sonic Wakes. So, so make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. And uh, yeah, I appreciate it all. Make sure you stay safe and have a good one.